I've been putting this off for a while, and I really don't even know why, because I don't think it's that hard or anything, but it just does have a number of things to make sure you install right. And actually, there's install directions down here. I will just go from there. Absolute requirements. JC, I, I think I have some of these, obviously, but not all of them. So is this different than Papyrus Extender? Is this the one that only works for... Oh, is it because it's just called Papyrus Extender? Yep, okay, I do have it. Or I guess it would tell me if I did. This stuff is for physics, I think. Another physics thing. May fix issues for some users as this function is used often by the player module. Definitely, I'm going to be using this a lot, so I usually kind of forego this because I, I just have one save, but I'm going to be using this mod for testing a lot, so. Okay, let's get this going. JC containers. Oh, this doesn't say anything about... I feel like if this didn't just work that he would mention it here. It said it just uses the same thing, so I guess I will just try... Oh, no, there's a 2022 right here. <laughs> and I'm just going to make sure it doesn't give me a warning or anything. It doesn't. UI extensions, race menu, and we've got race menu, installing. All right, we've got race menu installed, face discoloration fix, face discoloration fix installed, relationship dialogue overhaul. I have to make sure I start a new game after all this, which makes this a good idea anyways. For, for testing, I mean. Relationship dialogue overhaul installed. Nether's follower framework. Got it few potential things for this. We don't have to do this one. Console util SSE installed. Boost road dough. Fireman's none. Pyrus util. I think I have this one. Yep. Go mod, baby. Universal installer. Special edition. Followers avoid traps. Does he say anything about that on Proteus? Yeah, so cool. Do I want my followers to level with me since my followers are myself? Okay, we have console util, and I think Proteus already accounts for that. We'll have to see, because Proteus' whole thing is being able to change the class through them, so I wonder if this is necessary. This has more options than I remember Proteus having, so if I don't see stuff like Elemental, Mystic, Necromance, Snipely, <laughs> that kind of stuff, then maybe I'll come back for this. What's interesting in PCs? Adds quests. Ugh, that's a lot of patches. Yeah, I'm just going to forego interesting NPCs right now. I've already got so much stuff to patch. All right, Nether's Follower Framework installed. Little item freeze fix. Ugh, all of these really brought up the uh, plugging them out quite a bit. That had like five, I think. What am I at? 77? I don't need a, I really don't need a settings loader if it is an ESP, I think. Oh, it wasn't anything. Sweet. All right, that's everything. All righty. Installing that Proteus, baby. All right, we have Proteus. I don't remember how to use it. <laughs> Maybe it's just a power. I guess let's just open up and see. To start a new game. Hey, look at this. Oh, so you really can't change their height without with other ESP? I forgot about this. How you can add... <laughs> oh, that looks cool. <laughs> I mean, I can see how, like, just doing a little bit, you kind of, like, I want to change the ears. Oh, so you really can't change the height without that. Well, I'll have to turn that on then. Because I, for instance, want to make my... Dragonborn Nord, extra tall. Oh. Oh, it is a wheel now. Huh. Oh, I do not have any weapons. So. Oh, I probably have to even equip it, huh? I can use this to actually see its stuff first, huh? Base damage 15. Alright, and I have this all sorted out on my document already. A giant clusterfuck of a document. So, 18. I oh, see, and it's using my speed value from my weapon thing, which I guess saved now. I was wondering if that did save between saves based on that. Ah, oh, sweet, so I don't have to worry about this again. So that's nice. And I think this will also save it between custom base damage value 18. And that should be for everybody. All right, I need to, yeah, that's why. Let's double check the directions real quick. Permanent weapon saving option two, which saves it for everybody and all playthroughs. Okay, so we just need to hit the permanently save st stat button. Should your edits for this weapon be saved only for this specific character? For all characters. All player characters. Well, it should be for everybody. Forever. But yeah. If you edit the Iron Sword, it'll apply to every Iron Sword in the game, not just yours. Which is what I want. And we permanently saved it. Yee. Things are really starting to come together. And we've got freaking Proteus, man. One of the most important and impactful mods in Skyrim modding history, as far as I'm concerned. Got all the utility stuff. I love the wheel menu too, it's a little nicer. 
And it all does seem to be faster, the menu transition, than it used to be. Oh, this is so exciting! This is the basis of the most important part of my playthrough. But yeah, I mean, it seems to be working. Let's, uh, I guess we'll double check that, uh, like turning on that other plugin and making my Nord super tall doesn't make him look weird or something. Race menu plugin. No? The height is still not here. Why is that? Surely that would be under body. Oh, it's under body scales. Holy crap! <laughs> Why is it so much? I can't even tell, like, how much taller that makes him necessarily. Although I'm glad everything seems to be scaling correctly at least. Sure, let's see what that does. Just go to white run, see how much taller I am than all the Nords. <laughs> Barely. Uh, the doors are still taller than me, that's always nice. But yeah, I'm quite a bit taller than my, my brethren. Yeah, I've been w thinking about that, about making my Dragonborn character borderline mythologically big. You know, like, pretty much whenever anyone sees him, they're like, what in the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, this seems about perfect, and this was only 1.1, 1 .1, I think, or 1.15. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can access the race menu another way. Show race menu, yeah. It's nice you can change it in real time. So yeah, even like that, I mean, that's pretty noticeably bigger to the point where I'm even, like, scary for orcs, I would say. <laughs> so that's cool. That all works. Figured, I guess I should actually uh, show off the whole main reason I'm using this mod, which is the changing between characters thing. I believe we're going to save the character. Prisoner has been saved. Then we have start new character. All right, starting new character. So it resaves when you do that. So yeah, the whole... Starting a new character at least still takes a bit. Now, you know, everybody should read all the directions and everything, but he makes the recommendation to only change things about your PCs while you're playing them, and not while they are NPCs, part of your party, or that you have spawned near you. Okay, nice. You now select your starting armor, weapons, appearance, and location. Ugh, I wish I could u remove just the, uh, all the enchanted crap from the, the list like this. That seems like something that should exist, something that just removes all of the enchanted like generic items i just noticed it's only showing these it's only showing enchanted things i'm pretty sure oh there's 36 pages <laughs> yeah i mean i think i'd rather use the console command than this oh well it says you can search search for what character am i making college character what are those called vagrant oh view armor is an inventory screen <laughs> cool okay yeah and there are the default ones still they're just spread around robes hood boots no gloves though maybe it didn't come with gloves since there's just default made gloves anyways. Vagrant robes, vagrant hood, vagrant boots, made gloves. Okay, well I've got what I want. Nope, that did add all of them. Okay, so I guess just hitting tab moves you to the next thing. Uh, I'm just gonna forego that for now. That looks nicer. Uh, I guess I just wanna see the average height uh, Altmer female is, especially compared to my Dragonborn. All right, boom. Current location is fine. And look, I'm a new character. Uh, hmm, I didn't know it would just leave my guy there. Okay, well I got rid of them, and then can I summon them back? Okay, so I do that from here. Prisoner? Prisoner, follow me, I need your help. Let's make sure he is still taller than everybody, right? Need a moment of your time for NFF stuff. So yeah, I think I will need to add that whole, that bat file thing to allow for more specific world changing. Though it will be cool if he starts using it. Yeah, I mean, that is cool. <laughs> I should probably read what it says about switching characters and stuff. Right, so we've done that because we've created a new character. So the process spawn that previously had our gun is loaded and it is reset and hidden. Okay, so yeah, I guess it is intended that it leaves the PC there. Switching characters back to Prisoner, who is walking around over there. Dismissing followers. Quite a bit taller than you. Okay, so he's still my follower also. And then I should just be able to summon her again. Nope, that's a player menu thing. Summon existing spawn. Call it. Boop. Hi, college. Oh, it is working. But uh, the one issue I've come across is these versions of Flames and Healing, for some reason, I can't remove via Proteus. And uh, yeah, I went through literally uh, every spell of Flames and uh, was not able to remove it. There's an old mod called Starting a Spell Choice that just removes them and gives that, like, removes all your default spells at the beginning and uh, gives you a scroll from each school so that you can decide what you want to learn and it gives you basic options for each of them i mean if i was using realm of lorcan i've always just preferred alternate start oh this looks like it works with alternate start toggleable spells enables you to learn and forget sweet all right let's another life version 
Yeah, if this doesn't work, I, I trust the original one to still work. I just figured I'd try a modern one. Let all of the menus and stuff load first. Because, yeah, if it doesn't remove the spells, <laughs> that would obviously be a problem. Oh, good. It did remove the uh, starting spells. Go ahead. Yeah, that's everything. Let's just make sure I can spawn without spells. <laughs> well, I must have had a fun time with Ulva the Feeble. Alright, no magic. Alright, I'll fix that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.